फाइन गुड आफ्टरनून टू यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स हाई स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो बाई गॉड्स ग्रेस आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ स्टूडेंट्स सो प्लीज यूटिलाइज दिस डेज डोंट वेस्ट टाइम ओके सो वेलकम टू अवर टू डेज ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स आर यू वॉचिंग डेली ऑनलाइन क्लासेस so i find out only some students are watching online classes what happened i don't know students please don't take this as a game or a fun okay be serious students because this is 12th standard portions so you will think at last we can study so please don't think like that okay students please watch daily online classes so welcome to our today's online class students so now we are studying about which chapter chapter 1 function okay so before i am going to teach about today's class just recall what are the things i have taught at the last class and till what i have taught so this chapter what are things you have studied students what are the important questions i said subroutines functions define subroutine define function then write the inference of x colon equal to 78 this is this three important two mark question i said isn't it then one important five mark question you have studied what are they define parameters and arguments and explain with types so one five mark question also you have studied so last class you have studied two book inside three mark question what are they syntax to define function as well as recursive function so till now so you have studied lot of questions so up from this portion surely you can expect any one question from your for your annual exam okay so please study well and thorough okay so today we are going to study about interface and implementation okay so what do you mean by interface and what do you mean by implementation this also very 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 important three mark question okay so you didn't get the textbook so please while i am taking class itself please note it down okay so very very important three more question interface and implementation differentiate between interface and implementation okay so first what do you mean by interface so what's the normal meaning english meaning of interface interface is nothing but a intermediary person so here what's the exact definition of interface mean listen is set of action that can do so before i am going to explain this uh, definition first you need to know about one example then only you will understand this topic okay for example in a book itself they have given one example okay so for example you are going to switch on one light okay so so to switch on particular light what you will do what's the first step you will switch on isn't it you will press the switch so immediately if you press the switch what happen the light will splash or the light will blink isn't it so listen so immediately if you are switch on the switch the light will flash so in between so you are owning the pressing the switch and the light is flashing in between the switch and the light lot of actions are going on whether you are bothering about anything for example you are pressing the switch what happen so the current will flow from that is positive negative is a lot of things are there isn't it so from the positive end will go to the light positive end the negative end will go to the negative end likewise internally lot of working is there but you will not bother about any internal working but what you will do you will press the switch what's your aim your aim need to flash the light isn't it same thing interface is also it will explain what the particular object will do understood now for example what's the purpose of light it will splash or it will give light isn't it so same way interface will give or explain set of action or what the object can do but it will not explain how it will do understood the difference so it will like for example if a light is there means it will explain only the working or that is the light light will splash or anything but it will not explain the internal working of the light understood 
ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ ஆர் பாயிங் ஒன் நியூ வாஷிங் மிஷின் ஆர் எனி திங் ஃப்ரிட்ஜ் ஆர் எனி எலக்ட்ரானிக் திங்ஸ் ஸோ அலாங் வித் தட் எலக்ட்ரானிக் ஐட்டம்ஸ் தே வில் கிவ் ஒன் மேனுவல் ஆர் கைட் ஹேவ் யூ நோட்டிஸ் தஸ் டர்ன் எஸ் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் த யூஸ் ஆஃப் தட் ஸோ இன் தட் கைட் தே வில் கிவ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன்ஸ் ஹவ் யூ நீட் டு ஆப்ரேட் த பர்டிகுலர் மெஷின்ஸ் இஸ் இன் இட் ஆனால் so whether sometimes we will read what's the working of this one how you will need to do whether you will read from the first line of that manual to last line of the manual no you will not read is any so the overall working they will say is it like this if you need to on so if you this like you need to off that and then overall working likewise interface also will explain the what the particular object can do but it will not for example tv you are by so what's the use of tv in the tv you can able to watch movies or anything so internally what are the things are going to do so internally lot of working is there whether you will bother about anything no okay now understood what do you mean by interface interface is a set of action what the object can do understood so in object oriented programming language so last year you have studied object oriented programming language isn't it what are things you have studied in object oriented programming language encapsulation modularity then polymorphism is in it abstraction likewise so in among that lot of inheritance that is a lot of object oriented programming concept of there is in it so this interface will ex- explain what are the functions defined in the class understood so the interface which will explain what are the functions you have explained inside the class for example same example you take you are going to switch on the light for example i am writing the program to switch on the light for using the concept of class so class always starts with the keyword class isn't it so class i am giving the class is followed by the class name so i am giving the class name as light for example so the interface will explain or define what are the functions are regarding that one so listen here see it what are the functions they have given here see main important two functions they have given for the light turn on turn off what do you mean by turn on turn on means if you are owning the switch light will glow turn off means the light will not glow so this is the two important functions understood so this interface will explain the functions regarding in that class okay but it will not explain the internal working of that things understood about interface so if they ask for the three more question means you need to write all these points understood what i mean by interface one time you say interface is a set of action particular object can do so an example you can write okay when you press the light so when you switch on the light will glow the in object oriented programming it will the interface will display um, explain what the things what are the functions you have so in that regarding that example they have given two functions turn on turn off okay understood this topic interface okay next the difference between interface and implementation okay so sometimes they will ask for three mark questions separately define interface and define implementation sometimes they will ask the differentiate between interface and implementation okay so listen very very important very very important question this one okay so what's the definition of interface interface always define see this uh, first line so interface always define what the object can do but it won't explain what the object actually do it understood the point so it will explain what the use of that object but it will not explain the internal working understood implementation implementation is just opposite of interface okay so implementation read that point carries out the instructions defined in the interface same example you to if you are buying any electronic things or anything you will get one guide so in that guide what are things you get they have given lot of instructions so that is called implementation okay see now implementation carries the instructions defined so you here only for example take one example washing machine here it will explain only the washing what's the use of washing machine that's all but here implementation means it will explain from a to z what's the use of the dryer what's the use of the spinner what's the use of this button <coughs> likewise it will explain from a to z or top to bottom understood the difference between interface and implementation okay then second point so here in object oriented programming language class is the main concept of interface i already said no inside the class it will explain only the function 
likewise in object oriented programming which one is the important concept for interface classes but here which one is the important concept means objects that is important so if you are using class concept in the program means are remembering in the last year portion you should create one object in the main of function is for the class so here in object oriented programming object is the main concept of how the object is created and executed and so two points very 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 important question again and again i am telling so if they ask for two mark or three mark question separately define interface mean this two point you need to write okay so with example so here implementation means that if they ask for three mark separately means you should write this two points differentiate means you need to draw this tabular column and you need to explain <coughs> understood okay so next one is the characteristics of interface this is also important question so what's the characteristics of interface okay already you have studied okay in in object oriented programming so which concept is supported for interface class isn't it so read the first point class template specifies interface to enable an object to be created and operated properly so this if you are creating a class or if you are using a class concept in the program means you should create object for the class isn't it so interface always supports which concept class concept isn't it so if this interface will see whether the object is created and whether the so object is create object creation and processing is um, whose purpose implementation isn't it but it will check whether the object is created properly and also it will operate it properly okay so next is read the second point objects attributes and behavior is controlled by sending function so what do you mean by attributes for example you are writing uh, the, the details of a student inside the class class student so inside you are writing int age of float height of float weight of so what are attributes age height weight this and all we can call as attributes okay so this next if you are writing age of height of weight of next you need to calculate the age you need to calculate the weight you need to calculate the height this and all you will write what separate functions is indeed in that for example void weight of separate function then void height of separate function likewise internally you will write lot of function listen so here the attributes and behavior is controlled by what sending functions to the object and somewhat tough only anyway you need to memorize no other choice okay first point is so class uh, which is a which support interface concept class so and also it will check which one object is created properly or working properly next one is it will which one is it will control attributes and behavior is controlled by what sending functions to the object and we understood this also important two more question so today i have taught three questions what are they what do you mean by interface what do you mean by implementation what is the characteristics of interface this three questions are very 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 important okay so this chapter mostly all the questions are very very important from this chapter you can expect one two mark question and one three mark question sometimes you can expect one five mark question also understood so what are the questions i am telling is important please now itself note it down in your notebook and study okay so listen so to explain this interface and implementation they have given one diagram okay so to this diagram will explaining the interface of that one so for example listen so a particular person is driving a car okay one person is driving a car so what's the aim of the person means the person needs to drive the car very fastly okay so what's the aim of that person he needs to drive the car very fastly so listen what's the driver or what's the person will do means to drive the car fastly means he will press the accelerator accelerator of the what accelerator of the car so if he press the accelerator of the car the car will move faster okay so if he press the accelerator internally what are the things are going to happen so if he press the accelerator means so internally that inside the engine what are things electricity need to become properly then water uh, then what are things inside that it is there inside the engine all the all the things need to be in proper then only the car will go faster isn't it so who is the interface between that driver and the car engine or the speed so the driver is pressing the accelerator then only the car is moving 
fast so who is the interface accelerator is the interface between the driver and the engine understood see see this example so the person so how the what are the functions are required to drive the car first okay listen first get speed up he needs to go fast so for that i am going to write one function called what get speed up first listen required speed it is a required speed for example normal speed if it is a normal speed means it will return the answer yes so e for example his aim is to go the uh, his aim is to drive the car at 80 kilometer okay 80 kilometer for example so here his aim is to become get speed of 80 okay so here it will check it's 80 so 80 means no problem it will return the car will the same way the 80 kilometer fast the car will move but sometimes it will check whether the 80 kilometers in the, there or not if 80 kilometers not there means he needs to pull the fuel then only the car will move faster understood okay so that uh, the example only they have given see if the person needs to drive the car so what he need to do he need to press the accelerator but he will not care about what's the internal working so what's the internal working means what's the internal working while you are pressing the accelerator what are the things going to happen inside the engine so who is the accelerator between the driver and the engine now who is the interface or intermediary person accelerator so that only they have given so if the car or if the driver aim is to move to the car with the speed what 70 okay so if 70 means okay the car will move if the below 70 means it will he needs to press the accelerator more than only so internally what are things going to do mean if he press the accelerator faster so internally inside the engine so if the fuel air pressure electricity this end all come together means only the particular vehicle can move faster understood but this interface will explain only about the speed so what's the aim of the driver the driver aim is to move the car at the speed 70 but he will not worry about what what are the internal working that is interface okay so all these actions are separated by what driver so already you have studied the interface will explain only the functions giving inside the or um, it will control only the function for example get speed of 70 so interface is explaining th this uh, controlling by the function what get speed of 70 understood this is one simple example so one more example they have given for this interface okay so sometimes they will ask for this two more question consider so here one sample program to find minimum of three numbers okay so you are going to find out minimum of three numbers so three numbers if you are going to find out means how many variables you required how many variables you required three variables okay so what is this line what say what is this line let min of 3x comma y. What is this line? Function. Definition. Yesterday I took class. No. Function. Always starts with keyword. Let. Followed by function name. Here whether any keyword or is is there. No. So what kind of function this one? Normal function. If keyword or is is there means which function? Recursive function. If keyword or is is not there means which function? Normal function. So what's the function name here? Min of then here you are giving arguments what are the arguments you are going to find out minimum of three numbers so you are giving the arguments you need to require three variables what are they x y and z consider for example you took three numbers five six and seven five six and seven what's value of x now five what's the value of y now six what's the value of z seven see next condition if x is less than y what's the value of x i said five so five is less than six Condition is true or not? Yes, x is less than y, 5 is less than 6. Condition is true. Then, next also you are going to check. x is less than y. What's the value of, um, sorry, z? What's the value of z? 5, 6, 7 means z value is 7. So, 5 is less than 7. Okay. Then, x else is z. So, what's the answer you will get? Minimum number, what's the answer you will get? If x and see listen 5 6 7 value x is less than y condition true same way x is less than z so only what other possibility of minimum number than x so which is the minimum value now x else if it is not minimum value means what answer you will get is z understood next condition 
Next, I am giving same way. Y is less than Z. I am taking. What's value of Y now? 6. 6 is less than Z. 7. Condition is true or not? Yes. Then, what's the value of a minimum number? Y. If Y is not minimum, means what answer you will get? Z value. This is simple. Two more questions. Sometimes they will ask the writer program to find minimum of three numbers. Okay. So, today what are the portions I taught? So, after this enough. Okay. Tomorrow I will continue with another topic. So, what are the things I have taught today? Interface. Implementation, difference between interface and implementation, then characteristics of interface. So, interface and implementation, very very important question. Differentiate all the very very important characteristics of interface, also very 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 important question. This four questions you should study thorough after the completion of this session. So, in notebook, also you need to note it down interface, implementation, differentiate, and characteristics. Okay, remaining things that example this and all, just you read it. Sometimes they will ask this question for mark question okay students so tomorrow i'll continue with next portion please don't waste time students study well thank you